Benton home in Benton County that was struck by lightning just after 10 o'clock this evening. We just told you about the moment ago. This is the second home in Centerton to be struck by lightning today. Five News reporter Michael Wilson is live in the Siloam Springs area visiting the home that was hit earlier today. Micah. Darren, with that first home, we know that about five agencies were on scene working to put out the flames of that home. And now here in the Siloam Springs area, for the last hour, we saw plenty of lightning strikes as well as some strong winds blowing rain and pounding to people's face, honestly. But that lightning is what got those two homes causing some damage. Shortly before 120, this Centerton home off Talamore Boulevard was struck by lightning. The homeowner was inside with her two dogs. The lightning damaged the attic and a room upstairs. The owner and the dogs are safe, but crews say their home is now uninhabitable. Multiple fire departments put out the flames nearly two hours later. And as storms are expected to hit Arkansas overnight, emergency managers from across the River Valley and Northwest Arkansas continue to monitor the threat. Here in Fort Smith in, in the River Valley area, we have a lot of damage done by uh, trees and limbs, and that also will cause some power outages. And in Northwest Arkansas, it's all about the rain. When it comes to, you know, severe, you know, massive rain like that, we uh, expect localized flood. Benton County urging drivers to be careful on the roads. Most people tend to get fixated on the amount of water going over the road. Um, however, a lot of times the uh, road surface could be compromised or there could be debris that you're not seeing, uh, which could cause a vehicle to get stuck and then, then you're in the middle of rising flood. And if you're out on the roads when severe weather hits, emergency management asks that you keep driving until you reach a safe place. Underneath an overpass is not your destination. Uh, it, I know it can be a safe place at times, but whenever there's uh, multiple cars and traffic and, and other vehicles behind you, uh, we have to keep the flow of traffic going because they're trying to get to their uh, safe place. Wow, guys, while that story was playing, we heard a very large, loud lightning strike and thunder. That is what's happening here. We're here in West Salem Springs and we're continuing to see that. We saw that for about the last hour or so. We know these storms are moving from Oklahoma into Arkansas. So again, like Matt said, thankfully we don't have any hail coming right now, but those strong winds are what you need to look out for as well as those lightning strikes. Like you all said, two uh, homes in Centerton caught fire possibly because of these lightning strikes. For now, we're live here in West Salem Springs covering news where you live. Mike Wilson, 5 News. All right, Mike, thanks again. You can keep up to date with any watches and warnings where you live during this week's severe weather threats by downloading our free 5 News smartphone app. It has been a very busy night, and this is the last round to come.